I get uh, this uh, request a lot of uh, times. Uh, it's uh, related to this uh, wireless uh, alarm system. Uh, how can you install it uh, on the car? Uh, how difficult it is to install and uh, why it's called wireless while the siren has uh, wires. Uh, it's uh, very simple. This is the uh, main uh, unit of the alarm. This has internal sensors for shock and barometric. And uh, it's uh, powered on with a simple USB charger. And it has a built-in uh, lithium battery, which can uh, last up to one month. And uh, this is a wireless siren which should be installed somewhere in the engine hood and I'm under the engine hood and I'm going to show you this process also uh, the wireless part of uh, this alarm means that you do not need to uh, take a wire from the main unit to the siren and you also do not need to install additional sensors like door sensors, uh, window sensors, shock sensors so you do not need to mess with wires also you do not need to take a power supply to this directly from uh, your car electronics you just use a, a cigarette charger adapter and it's fine by that so let's uh, continue with the install first I'm going to install the siren uh, you need to choose a spot under the engine hood where it's uh, uh, not uh, exposed uh, to high heat levels or uh, a lot of water. The siren has some uh, uh, waterproofing, but it's not perfect. So it's uh, the best uh, practice is to install it with uh, uh, its uh, mouth. Let's call it a mouth uh, downward or something like that, just not to hold water inside. And also, it should be somewhere uh, in a position where it's uh, splash proof. So not behind uh, radiators where uh, water may come in during a rain or uh, water may be thrown by the wheels under the engine and uh, uh, the best position I found until now it's here near the car's uh, main computer so that should be a good spot I'm also going to put this here. I'm using uh, my phone which is connected to the camera on uh, my head just to have a better view. So I know that you are going to see what I see. So that screw is off and let's see if it goes through this plate, it goes which is perfect and the siren will have its place here from now on. And I'm gonna secure the bolt as it was before. Uh, the wires from the siren will go to the battery you have a plus and a minus this is to only supply power to it uh, while this is uh, the antenna for the siren I'm not going to do cable management now but I'm gonna install it for a test run. I'm going to loosen this bolt up a bit. This is the negative uh, uh, connector. It's very important when you work with the positive connector not to make an accident with the key 
while it's uh, connected to the battery terminal you can hit something around it which is uh, metal like here and you can make a short circuit which you do not want to do So, plus side is uh, also secured and now uh, we are going to move uh, inside the car where I am going to install the main unit. The in-car installation is uh, even easier than the siren installation. I am going to use uh, my uh, car adapter. I did not uh, like the original uh, power supply which comes with uh, this because it's uh, bulky, it's very large, at least mine was, so I have replaced it with a mini adapter which is also uh, very good quality. So on my car I have a hidden uh, power supply here, I also have a power supply here, so I have a lot of uh, possibilities, I even have a one uh, cigarette uh, adapter in my trunk, so I have a lot of options, but I'm going to use this uh, compartment here. I'm just going to plug this in. And I'm going to connect the power supply jack here. And now this is connected, and I can secure it like this. And the installation is done and with the remote here, it's a pager remote two-way. First let me unlock the keys. To unlock it I need to press this button and this button and it's unlocked and Let's see, if I uh, lock the car, it will not lock, probably because this does not have uh, any power. I'm going to put uh, a contact on to supply power to it. Now I have uh, power on, uh, the main unit is uh, charging. And I'm going to let it uh, charge for uh, some time. And if I try to use my remote, let's see now. I want to lock the. And now the alarm is uh, armed. And probably if I hit on this, you can see this sounds. And the alarm has went off. And I'm gonna stop it. It was an easy shock, it was not a powerful shock. If you continue hitting the car, it will trigger full alarm. Let's see if the barometric uh, function works. Uh, this alarm uses a pressure sensor which detects sudden uh, openings of uh, a door or uh, your trunk. And uh, this is uh, a function that uh, replaces actual uh, door sensors. Uh, let's see if uh, it works properly. I'm going to arm the alarm again. Now it's armed. I'm going to wait a few seconds for it to go through the whole arming process. And now I'm going to open a door. The pager is already... Mm, mm, and you can see here you can see on the remote that a small door was open here I don't think that you'll get too much details 
but uh, this has uh, properly detected that the door was opened and uh, it wasn't a shock so it works uh, very good so now I'm going to leave it uh, charging for uh, some time and uh, that was the installation very simple now I'm just going to tidy up the cables under the hood I'm gonna use some zip ties and uh, hide the cables just to be nicely looking and also safe I do not want the wires to rub on uh, something metallic there and create uh, short circuits and uh, other problems bye bye